Hello everyone and welcome to this week's Adobe extension tutorial. In this one, I'm going to be showing you how to make a watch folder uh, analyzer in an extension, which will basically continually check for updated files and things within a folder. We're just going to make a simple version in this video, which keeps track of how many files are in a given folder, as well as we'll display their names and update it as often as we want. So before we get started with this simple yet very effective tutorial, I just want to remind you down below, hit subscribe and the bell icon to be notified of new videos coming out twice weekly on the channel and down in the description you can check out the code called extension testing in the github link in the description and down there as well you can follow us on github and instagram to get live updates if you're not a member of the discord server come and join and get help with scripting extensions plugins expressions submit tutorial ideas and much more and if you'd like to help support the channel on youtube and get cool perks at the same time you can become a member supporter premium supporter or vip so if you want to go ahead and get the bare bones code required for this you can check out the link in the description for the adobe extension testing uh, github link and this just has the base extension files which will be uh, stripping a little bit and then adjusting for our new values so i've gone ahead and basically stripped out all the important code and we're going to start from this point and we're going to start by creating uh, basically two things in our uh, UI here that are going to represent our number of files and our file array full of all of the names. And what we're going to first do then is define these in our HTML. So in order to do that inside of my main div of my HTML, I'll create a div group for the number of files and one for the file array. So I'll just say div ID is equal to num files. And inside of there, I'll put the text num files. And then we'll have one more div below it, which will store the actual number of files. I'll just call this ID num files counter, and we'll leave that blank for now. And then I'm going to create two, uh, just a copy of this for the file array, and I'll change it from num files to file array div and file array counter, and change the text to file array. Or we could even say file names. And now if we go ahead and launch our UI and check it out, now we're just going to have the num files and our file names. Now we just need to basically go through every so often and check a folder to see if it has any files. And we're just going to update this information. Now, the way we can do an update live like this is essentially by using a set interval method. We've used this before in the uh, connecting to a web server episode. You can check out in the I icon up there. And essentially what a set interval allows us to do is initialize some code every X number of seconds or milliseconds. So the way we define this is by saying set interval. And I'm going to do this inside of my uh, JavaScript here on um, in the beginning here where we first initialize our JavaScript when we first launch the extension. And what I'm going to do is first define a function uh, as the first argument for my set interval. What method or what function is it going to run once we're done waiting so much? And the second argument goes after this closing bracket will be the number of milliseconds to wait for. Uh, first, let's set this to five seconds and close it out. And now if we say alert hello, every five seconds, it's going to execute whatever code is in this uh, anonymous function here. So if I go ahead and make sure it's saved and run it, and now we will wait about five seconds, we should get an alert message. Now it says hello, we can close that but it's going to continue setting our interval and continue displaying that message every five seconds. And this behavior is perfect for a watch folder as we need to constantly be checking for updated files or jobs or however you want to basically put it. So every five seconds or every, let's say two seconds, let's go ahead and run some JavaScript code, JavaScript extended code to check a folder and get all the information inside of it. So what I'm going to do is just create a function called get files, and I'm going to pass a variable, which we should create a variable for whatever path we want them to have. Of course, you can ask them for a path, but in this case, I'm going to hard code our watch folder path as our videos folder. And I have a folder called watch, and I can just basically plop files in here and adjust it as I need. So that will be our folder path. And now we need to create our get files function with our path, or I guess with our folder path. What we're first going to do is create a new CS interface object so that we can basically communicate between JavaScript and the script itself, 
which we'll need to get file access. This will be a new CS interface. And what we're going to say is CS interface dot eval script. First argument of our eval script, it's going to be the name of the JavaScript extended function to run. So let's go ahead and define that here. We have our JavaScript file for this project, which we'll just call get files. Um, let's try not to make it the same as this name here. So we'll just say get files JSX. And we're going to have a path coming in here. And then for our eval script, we want to run this function called get files JSX. But we also want to pass an argument and this argument is our folder path so instead of just putting the folder path in here that's not going to work we need to escape our strings here and then add it so this will add the variable to the string which is calling the function and in order to make sure that this is a string path and then i'm going to add double quotes to make sure that this is a string and not just uh you know like an integer then after we're done closing out our single quotes here we're going to basically run a callback function. And what that means is we can return a variable. So what we're going to return are our folder or our file names. And because we're going to modify this, I'll call it temp file names. And we're going to parse this information into our real file names. So we'll just create an empty array there. And Basically what this does is it runs this JSX code and the second argument is called a callback function, which means this code in here is what's going to run after the JavaScript extended has executed. The reason we do this is because scripts and the HTML panel are asynchronous, which means that they don't run on the same clock and we need to basically wait properly. Um, and this will wait until the JavaScript extended is finished executing and then do any of our code in here. So let's go inside of our JavaScript extended now and get our files that we need. We have our path here, which references our watch folder. So I'm going to create a folder object with our path. And what we can then do is just say temp files equal to folder dot get files. We're going to get all of the files in here. And if you want, you could just return the file objects themselves, but I want to display the names. So I'm going to go ahead and loop through all of our temp files by saying i is equal to zero. i is less than our temp files.length increment i by one and then i'll create an array called file names make that empty and each time through i'm going to grab one of my temp files the current one or index i and grab the name and i'm also going to replace any uh, weird spacing characters with a proper space then finally i'll say json.stringify file names and i'm going to want to return this which will return basically a string object containing all of our file names uh, as this temp file names here, which is a return of our callback function. So uh, firstly, let's inside of here alert our temp file names. Let's see if it's working. Go ahead and launch the extension. Now in two seconds, we're getting undefined. So let's find where we've gone wrong here. First, let's check our folder path, make sure that's valid. We'll run our extension. And we're getting the proper path to the folder, so the problem must be somewhere else. Ah, in our loop here, we're actually not doing anything. We're just looping through. We need to say file names.push. We're going to push the name in there. Now, if we run this, uh, let's go ahead and increase our increment so we don't get overwhelmed with alerts stacking up. We'll run our extension. And now, every four seconds, we should get... Uh, an array with our full list of files, which is perfect. Now, what we can do with this information is grab the length of it and let us know how many files are in there. We can grab all the names. So let's go ahead and uh, manipulate this data a little bit. What I'm first gonna do is say file names, our empty array we created here. We're going to say json.parse our temp file names because uh, it's returning it as a string. If we use parse, it's going to turn it back into an actual object, which we can manipulate more easily. And now what we're going to do is grab a num files counter and the file array counter and use the information from our file names to update it. So I'll say document.get element by ID num files counter. And we're going to set the inner HTML to be our file names dot length. And then I'll just copy and paste this. The second one is called file array counter, which not the best name. Um, but we'll go with it for now. And I'm just going to take our array and say dot to string. And this should just basically restringify all of our names of our files. So what this should do is every interval go into our JSX, grab the folder, get all the files within it, 
and then update them inside of our extension UI. So let's go ahead and make sure it's saved and we'll run it. Now every four seconds, we hopefully should see, boom, we're getting the number of files and the file names. Now the organization isn't perfect. I could probably add some CSS and stuff to make it look better. But now if I go in here and start messing around, it should live update every four seconds. So as you can see, it knows there's four files or eight files now. We can remove some and it's then going to update it every time through the set interval. And you can go on and expand this to as much as you'd like to do more things, read different information, or just make your watch folder uh, more extravagant than I did. But that's gonna do it for this video, guys. I hope you enjoyed. If you did, hit the thumbs up button and down below, hit subscribe and the bell icon to be notified of new videos coming out twice weekly on the channel. You can check out the code for this in the GitHub link in the description and try it out for yourself and build it. And you can also follow us there on GitHub as well as follow us in the description on Instagram to get other cool updates. If you're not a member of the Discord server, you can join and get help with scripting, extensions, plugins, expressions, tutorial ideas, and much more. And you can also join the YouTube channel as a supporter, premium support, member or VIP get cool perks and help us out at the same time. Thanks again for watching. We'll see you next time.